a very good morning to uh, everyone. I'm uh, Wing Commander Girish Tomar, the team leader of Sarang Helicopter Display Team. We are here in Dubai for the air show. This is the second time uh, that the Sarang Helicopter Display Team is coming to Dubai, and uh, it's a very proud moment for us since uh, UAE government has been very kind enough to host our teams, and uh, we have been able to put up a wonderful show out here. The response from the public, from all the people who are in the air show, has been fantastic, and uh, that is very uh, heartwarming for us to see the way uh, we are garnering uh, more and more, you know, happy responses from all the people. Thank you so much. Welcome, sir, for giving your time to ADU. It's, you have been very generous to us. You already talked about the audience and the response. Let's talk about how it feels to fly in the sky. We have been. It's a beautiful terrain out here to fly and uh, to tell you more about that, I think uh, Sridhar will explain it better. Yeah. Right. So, uh, so, did you undergo any special kind of training for a uh, specific event? Yeah, actually uh, every air show is different. Essentially the rules remain same but however the procedures they change depending on the terrain as Sir said where you are flying and the venue uh, in itself imposes some restrictions. So we did uh, tailor our profile uh, to fit to this venue. Accordingly, we have uh, practiced towards that. How long you have to do this kind of training? Uh, this training, uh, maybe a month prior to our uh, departure from our base, uh, we had been planning and training for the same. Now, it will be very interesting to know, how did you ferry the choppers uh, from India to Dubai? All right. Uh, actually, we have uh, uh, transported our uh, choppers in C-17 aircrafts. Uh, so we got total of uh, five helicopters, ALH helicopters out here. So each C-17 can accommodate uh, two uh, ALH helicopters. So we got them, uh, the, we knocked down the rotors and uh, we got it transported in the C-17s. Well, uh, the team actually, uh, helicopters as we all know, they don't really have very uh, long endurances and to come uh, thus far, we need to be self-capable and uh, we transport our helicopters in our own, very own C-17s uh, that we have in India, in an Air Force. We come here in about three shuttles, knocked up with the helicopter rotors knocked down and we, once we are here within about uh, four or five days we are able to reselect all five helicopters get them ready for flight and then get on with the display this clearly uh, depicts uh, the far reach and the self-reliant capability that uh, indian air force has been able to achieve and as a it's a clear indicator of the capacity i would say low is our playground technical support you have been getting from the UAE Air Force for managing these choppers and keeping them ready for the flight? Oh, to that, the support which we have received here is uh, extraordinary. Actually, both we have been initially inducted at Al Minad Air Base. Subsequently, after the build-up of the aircraft, we shifted to Al Maktoum. At both the bases, the technical support which we have received was really good, which has uh, helped us to achieve the timelines which we have uh, uh, planned to achieve the task which is assigned to us. And are these displays that you have here and uh, the flying displays that you're doing here, uh, are they different from the Air Force Day Parade that you were in there? Uh, as I mentioned, it is to do with uh, some uh, light tweak to the profiles as such and it also depends on the timelines of the time slot which we have got for uh, to showcase our display. These are the two governing factors. Whatever profile changes we have made to suit the venue and the time which we have been allotted in between the other formations to perform, this will judge the uh, what are the changes which we have made to our uh, specific display profile as such. So for you, how it has been interacting with the other helicopter pilots? Because for four days we have seen many helicopters flying here and they have been participating, some in the static display as well. How has been your interaction with them? Well, it is really uh, educating, uh, educative interaction that we have uh, when we come to air shows like this. We get to interact with people who fly in varied uh, regions and varied roles. And uh, 
it, we uh, stand to gain a lot through these interactions and the sim same has happened even here as well. Uh, well, perhaps uh, specifically talking in the field of display flying, since we are the only helicopter display team around, so uh, for that we have to look towards our fixed wing counterparts. So we have been interacting with them as well and there is a lot to gain and uh, learn from that towards further improving our profiles, working out new maneuvers, etc. So it's been overall a very healthy uh, interaction, an eye-opener to see the latest in the aviation industry that is uh, on exhibit over here and uh, learn a lot, uh, take back uh, a lot of things from here. Thank you so much to both of you yeah. for interacting with us. We got to know and uh, I hope and I'm sure for next few shows we will meet you guys again and we'll interact again on this platform. Thanks Thank a lot so and all the best.